Yes, yes, y'all. It's once again time for End of the World Time. Um, and this week we're going to explore the singularity. Not the happy-go-lucky singularity that Ray Criswell tells us all about, but a different version of the singularity. One that spells the end of mankind. And then there's always the weird and quite surrealistic end of humanity called the technological singularity. It's a concept from computer philosophy. Really, but we could be on route to making it very, very real. It should happen sometime in the next 30 years or so. Suddenly, something very weird will happen. We will vanish into a malstorm never experienced by any living creature before. The technological singularity. And the really bizarre thing is, we can't tell you what it's going to be like. That's the problem with singularities. They are, by definition, out of reach of our imagination. There are things we can be pretty sure of. Obviously, a thing called technological singularity has something to do with technology. It should be dramatic, hefty, and sudden. Oh, and you might be interested to hear, it should wipe out our kind off the face of the planet. Singularity is a word from mathematics. Roughly speaking, it is a place where mathematical order becomes chaotic, where regularity becomes illogical and unpredictable. You cannot even properly call a singularity a place. It's just that, a singularity. For example, a black hole is a singularity. In it, time collapses and the laws of physics no longer apply. In the 1950s, mathematician John von Neumann predicted our society is destined to go singularity too. His line of reasoning was simple. We're inventing things at an even faster pace. Faster and faster it goes until one day the trend just explodes and we will invent new things infinitely fast. We and our inventions will get out of control. Read how novelist and mathematician Vernor Ving, Vinge put it in the famous 19 in his famous 1993 paper. This change will be throwing away all of the previous rules. Perhaps in the blink of an eye, an exponential runaway beyond any hope of control, and we are on the edge of that change, comparable to the rise of human life on this earth. If you think that sounds pretty vague, well, I agree. Gladly, Ving also helpfully pointed out a few omens that should announce the singularity. You can see some of them around you already. As singularity day comes, computers get even faster, and huge computer networks arise. More and more tasks are automated, information and ideas are spread even faster. Slowly, humans will begin to merge with their computers, finding new ways to connect our minds to our computers, directly. We might even genetically engineer ourselves, or find other ways to upgrade our intelligence. And, next thing you know, some kind of superhuman consciousness awakens out of the computers. And out of us, something arises. This is something superhuman, so something super intelligent. Before you know it, it begins spewing out ideas and theories infinitely fast. Also, it finds ways to make these ideas real at a similar infinite speed. Most likely, you're sucked up in the process in some unimaginable way. Around 2030, you're tied and bound to the computer. Remember, you have an interface in your brain to control your computer, or your brain is a computer. So probably your mind suddenly just goes singularity, too. And after all that, well, we can't tell. Perhaps we'll leave our bodies. Maybe we'll merge with our computers, break down barriers of our individuality, and become a train of thoughts. Maybe we'll become a duck-shaped cloud out of purple gas. Who knows? Maybe we will overcome the restrictions of the dimensions and become a god. Now that would be pretty strange indeed, wouldn't it? To us living beings, the singularity should be really bad news. After all, if Von Neumann and Ving are right, there won't be any humans around anymore in about 2030, in the year 2030. More likely you'll find an empty planet, deserted buildings, empty streets, 
Perhaps you won't even find a universe anymore. We even might have terminated the universe while going singularity. But at least it will, at least will it be good or will it be bad? Guess what? We can't tell. In a singularity, good and bad probably will have lost their meaning. Our kind could end up in a state we todaylings would call godlike, or depending on your point of view, insane. So, can we avoid it? Well, maybe we can. For one thing, there's always the possibility that Vang and Von Neumann have got it all wrong. Maybe there won't arise any superhuman consciousness out of our computers. This is how the great mathematician Roger Penrose saw it, and his views, machines simply cannot become conscious. Period. What's more, instead of accelerating, our technology might in fact be slowing down. In 2005, physicist John Huebner studied the range of technological innovation by counting the number of patents and, ma and major inventions per world citizen. The outcome? The speed of innovation is declining. We're simply running out of new ideas. We did all the major inventions like the telephone and the airplane already, and now we're just doing the smaller stuff, making minor adjustments to our big ideas. But even if we're heading singularity, we may be able to isolate the danger or hand our computers down a strict order. Whatever you do, computer, don't mess with humanity. But actually, we aren't too sure that will help. After all, superhuman intelligence is no match for an ordinary human being. Most likely, it will drag our kind along into the singularity. Hey, it might even be fun. Think of it this way, at least we won't be bothered by minor little dis discomforts like death. When Singularity Day arrives and we become post-human, or more of that other vague stuff. On the other hand, as you may have heard in my, one of my other videos, there are some hurdles to take on first. For one thing, our technology could turn against us beforehand. Turning us into the Borg, you will be assimilated, or ridding the planet of humans. Why, after all, would a superhuman intelligence take us into an account any more than we humans feel sorry for the microbe? Now, I guess that would be a bummer. Finally, we're becoming God, only to find ourselves killed by our machines only moments before we succeeded. <laughs>